There you go. Just, <laughs> I, I was just telling Craig that he actually did pick Jude Bellingham at the beginning of the season to win Player of the Season. I'm he not actually sure I, did. I think you did, you know. I think you did. What a pick for, at least agree. Don't I, I think you did, Craig. Anyway, we can we can find that out. I'm sure they'll remind us. Uh, Borussia Dortmund against Real Madrid coming up this Saturday, Champions League final. Obviously, Real Madrid's big favourites in this one. Any early thoughts on how it's all going to go down? Oh yeah, Saturday? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to go down, all right? <laughs> Somebody's going down. You're not going to see an upset here. No. Well, funny enough, <clears throat> I mean, Saturday's FA Cup final was <clears throat> such a supposed to be such a one-sided affair that you know i did a, a, an interview a few days before it and one of the questions was and why would people want to watch this game because it's going to be so one-sided but it, it obviously it transpired slightly differently and or a lot different so i suppose if you're looking at a, a, a fight for dortmund or a, an avenue for dortmund would be if Real Madrid have a seriously off day like Man City did in the cup final, then there is a pathway to win the cup. It's, it's quite simple, there is. But if Real Madrid don't do what City did and you know are fully on it and Bellingham and Vinicius Jr. and Tony Kroos's last game and all that sort of stuff, then you have to think there's got to be at least two or three goals in this for Real Madrid. You have to think about it. But, you know, the cup final would tell you that you know, because Dortmund are in better shape than what Man United were going into Dortmund this. Dortmund are different in the Champions League this season to what they are in the yep. Bundesliga. Yep. It's just a warning, what happened at the weekend for Real Madrid, is, is what it is. Because in all sincerity, you can't sit here and start laying out why Borussia Dortmund are going to be too much for Real Madrid. You just couldn't do it in all sincerity. You couldn't. All right. the, the truth is, Real Madrid are going to have to not be at it not of the shooting boots on. Dortmund are going to have to defend like Tigers and take advantage of any situation to get on the break. Just similar to what we Friends saw like the tigers. weekend. How's a Tiger defend? Oh, so you don't want anything to do with Tiger. Um, I've just had word, actually, that I was right on you picking Jude Bellingham. Are you all right? But it wasn't only you. Well, of course it wasn't only me. He did as well. Oh. Well, it was kind of obvious, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, was it? You picked it before oh. before he'd even started at Real Madrid. Like, obviously, we knew he was there. Well, it was either him or Vinny. Hold on. I mean, the, the options weren't that many, were they? You picked him before the season be started honest. because it was an unknown quantity. Jude Bellingham coming into Real Madrid. I wonder how he's going to do. <laughs> this fantastic young footballer, very level-headed. All right, well... Is that, where is that where we're at these days? We've stooped so low, we have to pat ourselves on the back. I patted picking. you on the back, all right? I patted you both on the back. Don't worry, you weren't giving yourselves a pat. Tiger, that's... Ta defend, if, if, it was a tiger if mentality. De if they um, defend like tigers... Tigers. Is Thibaut Courtois the favourite to play in that Champions League final? Some would say he is, but we know he will not be playing for Belgium this summer when it comes to the Euros because he is not in the squad for Euro 2024. Shouldn't come as too much of a surprise on his end, according to him, because he said, because of the injury, there will be no European Championships for me. First, I have to recover 100%, and then it's better not to put a date on it. If I'm lucky, I can play in May, but then you can never be 100% ready for a big tournament. Now, this was said back in December, so he's essentially ruling himself out there. Now, obviously, remember, Thibaut Courtois walked out in June on the national team after Eden so Hazard fault? retired. I'm, 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 I must have, listen. Had a falling out with Domenico Tedesco. But, yeah, yeah what do you make of all this? Well, what I, I can't figure it out. Who's, who's, I, can't, I, never I had an email this morning from a producer and about, <laughs> about three million words on it. I nearly threw my phone at the TV. I was like, I've got this many... I'll, see, for a goalkeeper, I only need five words for a goalie. Right, I don't... So whose fault is it? I mean, this is just BS. Oh, the information we have, ring them. Ring his agent. Or just come out in the press room and say, he doesn't want to play. I don't really want him to play. I don't, we don't get on. Or what? I don't know whose fault. Well, when them... this happened, I, I still can't figure out six months later right. whether mm. it's over the captaincy, whether he doesn't want to play, whether he's in the half, whether the manager's a bit of a pain but, in the backside. I, I don't know. Regardless, regardless of where it's over, Courtois is basically saying, shove it up your jumper. But That's what he's doing. Given the quality of a goalkeeper that Courtois is, is it not worth the national team coach trying to make amends here and at least reaching out to him to see if they can do that? Not if he knows he's going to tell him to take a, you know what, go and take a jump. 
This is convenient for Courtois not to look or be obviously turning around and saying, I'm not going because of this guy. Courtois is being nice here. He's, he's making it a good excuse that he's been out for so long that he needs to take it easy. He's, he's over 30. I need to make sure everyone's OK. This is, this is convenient for Courtois because had Courtois played the whole season and been 100%, he would have been telling this guy to shove it. That's exactly what would have happened because that's what he's doing. He doesn't want anything to do with this guy. If, if Belgium had a different manager, a manager that Courtois got on with, he would be in this squad and he would be going to the Euros. Because Courtois, who, will, who I think will play in the final, is playing in the final because he's fit and he's healthy. So what has that got to do with the manager coming out with nonsense about, well, maybe three games in a week is going to be too much and all this? Courtois is playing because he's fit. His knee's fine. Doctors have cleared them. He's good to go. This is shove it right up your jumper. That's if what Courtois, Courtois is doing. If Courtois wanted to play in the Euros, he'd play in the Euros. Well, I said he'd play in the Euros. He could put pressure on this manager from the Belgian press that he'd have to pick him. Or he might be forced to go down a different route with his answers. But clearly there's just... Courtois doesn't want to play. He is going to play in the final, as Stevie yep. said. And it is disappointing, I think, from a player's perspective, that you got to want to play in these big tournaments. But it must... They, 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 the relationship must be so bad that you don't want to play in the European Championships in a country that's quite close to your own country. There's going to be a big Belgium following there, like all the European nations. And, you know, and so you don't want to go and play in that because so that, that, that has to run quite deep. So no matter what this guy says, and listen, I don't know who the fault is, to be honest, but just come out and see it. Stevie, does a goalie need a good relationship with the manager? Does, is that essential? No, players, players need to have a good relationship with the manager. Some, it depends on the player. Some players... Some players will not respect the manager, but the fact that it's the Euros and they get to play for the country, as Craig said, next door to their home, you know, where they're from, then some players would say, you know what, I don't need to speak to the guy. I don't want anything to do with the guy, but I want to play for my country and I want to play in the Euros. But clearly Courtois isn't like that. He's taking it personally, wherever it may be, and he's, he's making a stand. That's what he's doing.